What is going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and today, well today I get to answer some questions about these new printings of the Criminal Deluxe Edition hardcovers from Image Comics. I'll be doing a comparison to the original printings, talk about the reading order of Criminal and the world of Criminal and what makes this series so amazing and also if there's anything missing. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. Now, before getting started, a huge thank you to Dying Breed Collectors for sending us copies of Criminal The New Editions Volumes 1 and 2. Now, Volume 3 came out a few months ago, and I'll also be talking about Cruel Summer and how all of this fits in together in the world of Criminal. But here we have Criminal, the new printing, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, by the way, for those of you asking me, here in the States, Cheap Graphic Novels will be getting their copies, and they'll be going on sale on Monday evening. I think it's like 6 o'clock Pacific time, so keep that in mind. Volume 2, I think, will be probably the following week after that, as of this video. So, here we have Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips' Criminal, with brand new covers to match up to the third volume here that was printed by Image Comics. And I'll talk about where these were originally published. So here's what all the covers look like. All of the spines and Call Me OCD. I don't care, but I had to have them all lining up together and just looking gorgeous like this on the bookshelf. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And then the back of the book. So each one of these retailing for $49.99. They have no dust jacket. And they are deluxe edition, meaning they are as tall as almond. So, these were originally printed, well, as far as Volumes 1 and 2, at Icon Studios, which was a label from Marvel Comics. So, it was their Icon line, which also printed books from uh, Brian Michael Bendis' Powers. So, Volumes 1 and 2 have been previously collected in these two deluxe editions, long out of print. Uh, and these themselves collect the original single issue stories from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. The new printings have a flat spine, whereas the original printings of Criminal have a curved spine. Uh, they have the exact same page count. Even the introduction by Dave Gibbons is identical. The page count is 432 pages. The prices are identical. Both volumes one and two from the Icon line uh, retail for $49.99, and these two are $49.99 from the reprints. And as far as the reproduction of the paper and what the pictures look like, well, we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but first, let's break this open and talk just a little bit about what makes this world of criminal so magical. So let's go ahead and get this opened. Beautiful bookend pages, criminal, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, and Val Staples, Val Staples doing the colors. Here's your table of contents. And one thing you'll notice is in the table of contents, they're separated by story arcs, not by issue numbers. Here's your introduction uh, from Dave Gibbons, just like in the original printing. Uh, the one thing I noticed is the first few couple pages have this wavy paper, like it's been sitting around, like, I don't know. It's just the first couple pages, that's it. And we're introduced to Coward here and the character of Leo Patterson. Now, it's separated by story arcs, but this does collect the 10-issue story arc uh, from the original Criminal series in 20, uh, 2006. And then the first seven issues of the 2008 follow-up series. So here we are introduced to our very first character named Leo Patterson, who is um, the only surviving member of this one bad this job that went horribly wrong and that was the salt bay job and this is also the son of tommy patterson who you will get to meet all these characters the very beautiful thing about criminal is that you can pick up any of these books and read them and get to know the characters for the first time they all intertwine all their lives intertwine whether it's uh, background characters or whether it's a bar that they visit and you never know what time you're reading about too until you open up the book so sometimes you're reading about the characters in the 70s and the 80s in the present time whatever present time is and that's what makes this so new reader friendly for anybody so if you've never read any of volume one you can pick up volume three and read about it sure the payoff of volume three is better if you have read volume one and got to know some of these characters but really the first story arc is just introducing us to leo he's doing these minimal jobs just uh pit pocketing and he gets pulled on this job like he's like no i don't want to do it and it's a heist so that's when he gets involved with some bad cops and sure enough things go wrong and we have to see 
how he plays it out and what ends up happening to him. Then the second story arc is called Lawless, and we're introduced to the character of Tracy Lawless, who has been in the U.S. military for quite a number of years, finds out that his brother had passed away. His younger brother passed away, and from the sounds of it and the talks of it, his brother was backstabbed by a group of also criminals. <laughs> I could, You can probably figure out what all these stories are about. But these criminals backstabbed him and he wants to know which one was the one that actually killed his younger brother. So he goes undercover with a brand new guys and starts doing some work. He becomes the driver for these people and they themselves are doing their own heist. And, well, you can find out exactly how all that happens. Then we get a little uh, story back here that introduces us to some characters in the 1970s. Uh, like, in this particular storyline back here that introduces us to the character of Jake Gnarly Brown. And it tells of the coming of the Hyde family, who is the crime bosses of the city that all of this takes place in. So, by the way, all of all these books have mature content, whether it's violence, ultra violence, or sexual mature content. So please keep that in mind. And then in the very back of each of the hardcovers is where you will find your extras, like the variant covers or original covers. There's essays back here. Like I mentioned, everything that you have in the original printing is identical to this. And we'll do a comparison with the artwork and the paper quality here in a little bit. Uh, is that Robert Mitchum? Yeah, I love when Sean Phillips draws like all these old actors and actresses that have come um, and gone. But let's go ahead and look at Volume 2. So here's the new printing of Volume 2. This beautiful bookend pages. Here's one of the things that I have to admit. As soon as I got these, I started reading them. I'm like, well, I'm going to do an overview of the books. I really want to catch up on some of these characters. I haven't, I haven't, it's been a few years since I've read the original uh, two volumes and I needed to do it before I read volume three. And holy crap, I forgot how good this is. I forgot why this is one of my favorite series of all time. I just love this crime noir stuff. It feels like it, these are real people. These are real things happening to these people. And if you've not read it, you need to do yourself a favor. This is Ed Brubaker, the same guy that did uh, Fatal, the same guy that did Scene of the Crime, the same guy that did the phenomenal run on Captain America, introduced us to the Winter Soldier, did Incognito, did the Sleeper series, did uh, Kill or Be Killed, and also did Velvet. So Fade Out, all these books that I'm naming, all of them are top notch. And it was always difficult when I did my top 10 uh, favorite image series, I had a hard time choosing my number one. And I think I went with Kill or Be Killed because it was all and done. Whereas Criminal is a continuation of these uh, stories of these people's lives. And in this particular volume, you get Criminal, the 2008 series, 4 through 7. Uh, and then you get The Sinners, 1 through 5. And Criminal, The Last of the Innocent, 1 through 4. So they start becoming little mini-series instead of ongoing series. And we're introduced to some new characters. We see old characters come back from the original volume 1. And you get more about the Hyde family. But really, you get more of the Lawless family. Like I mentioned earlier, Tracy had to skip some pages because of that mature content I talked about earlier. Now, this one here, this volume right here, is it identical to the first printing. It has 432 pages as well. All the extras are in the back. Love all these extras that they put back here. It's awesome, and I'm glad that we get every single page that was originally collected, so nobody's missing out on anything. This is where some of these... Hey, is that McQueen? Yeah, yeah. Bullet, of course. So a lot of these uh, act are actors, Charles Bronson, the man right there, Femme Fatale, and then the Encyclopedia Brown and, and the Great Brain, Spock. Yeah, so you even get these kind of uh, kind of P.I., uh, Sean Phillips artwork. Some of them are character studies, and then some of them are just extra stories or like little trailers leading up to the series. Now, what's really interesting about this series, about Criminal, is that it kind of stopped. It stopped for a long time. And then, out of nowhere, we got this original graphic novel. And I did an explanation about the terminology that I use on the channel sometimes, and I talked about the difference between an OGN and a GN. So this was released originally as an original graphic novel. It did not come out in single issues. As a matter of fact, I think this is the way it came out in a nice standard edition hardback. We got this. What we didn't know at the time was that this was in the criminal world. Nowhere here does it say that this is set in the world of criminal in the same city you'll see some of the characters 
that was so unique that they did that. I, I was like, what? It's important? I have to get it. Well, first of all, it's Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. I just didn't get it because I was like, well, surely they'll come out with an oversized hardcover edition. I'll get to that in here in a second. Now, if you're keeping tabs of the reading order of Criminal and Deluxe Edition, this is obviously the next step you need to go. It's volume three. Now, these stories have been released in trade paperback format, in these OGN formats, but I like to collect them in Deluxe Edition. Now, this does contain My Heroes I've Always Been Junkies, OGN. So it contains the Criminal Special Edition one-shots, one and two, which kind of kick-started Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips' love of um, coming back to the world of Criminal. I love this shout-out to Savage Sword of Conan. Very cool that they did here, Savage Sword of Criminal. Uh, there's some... Um, lady parts there that I can't show. But this also collects My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies, Bad Weekend, and Criminal, the 2019 series, issues 1 and 4. So where are 2 and 3? Well, that's the interesting thing, is that Bad Weekend came out in an expanded OGN, so it had issues 2 and 3 in that collection. So they're not collected in any of the deluxe editions. Now, if you want to continue reading the story of Criminal and some of his families and some of the people that appear here, there is another book that you have to get that is also not named Criminal. By the way, this book here has 400 pages. If you want to look at the, let's look at the extras here. Yeah, here we go. Some of the variants and some of the covers. I love that they keep the covers back here. Character studies and things like that. It's awesome to return back to the world of Criminal and to check up on some of these characters that are either serving time now uh, because they refuse to snitch or just going back in time in the 70s. So this is really cool. All the extras back here. And what I was talking about is there is a volume 3.5 that again, nowhere do you see here that it's part of the criminal world. Nowhere do you see the logo of criminal on this book. But this is seriously considered a volume 3.5 because this contains the 2019 series Issues 1, which is, of course, double dipping uh, with Criminal Volume 3, but Issues 5 through 12. Now, we don't know yet if they're going to do a Criminal Volume 4, if we're going to be double dipping, if they do a Criminal Volume 4. All I know is that this came out in Deluxe Edition and collected those issues of Criminal, so I had to get it because I wanted to continue reading the story. Again, volumes or issues two and three from the 2019 series have not been collected in the Lux Edition and only available in the Bad Weekend uh, hardcover. So let's actually, before we do a comparison with the original printing, there's something I wanted to point out that I'm sure all of you have noticed, and that is this frame around the artwork making you question if the artwork is really in oversized format. So for something like My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies, you can tell that it is a little bit bigger in the oversized format. The bleed goes all the way to the end of the page. But when you're looking at this type of artwork here, this is really not oversized. This is honestly, sorry, my wife has been reading Spider-Man like crazy lately, but it is the size of your standard edition comic book or trade paperback as far as the artwork. So there's this white border frame and we've seen books do that before. We've seen like uh, Peter David's Hulk omnibus. So it, it's not uncommon for collections to do that. But I know sometimes people feel cheated. I myself don't care because this is a nice presentation of having the complete story all in one collection. But that's honestly the way the pages were laid out in the original printing. So speaking of original printing and pages, let's compare the paper quality between the two, which is almost identical. And I feel like the paper quality in the Marvel version is a little bit smoother and they're both about the same thickness, if I'm not mistaken. And honestly, now that I'm... Yeah, I think actually the image uh, newer printings have thicker paper than these original printings. And could be my mind playing tricks on me. But, and I mean slightly thicker. Not, not, very, not by very much. But the paper in the Marvel printing seems a little bit smoother. At least in my copies. As far as the binding of the book, it is sewn binding, but it does have a lot of glue down there. It's not that big of a deal because with books like this, there are no spreads. It's mainly panels like this. Um, now, I, I read the first volume and, I'm, and, you know, it 
it laid really nice so wasn't that big of a deal and like i said you have these white borders because of this frame that i was talking about earlier that's separating the pages so you're not going to get any gutter loss the only time you may notice it's when you're looking in the back of these extras back here and even then there's not that many spread pages back here all right so let's go ahead and do a comparison of the pages of both criminal uh, volume one as you can tell the colors in the new printing are more vibrant they stand out a lot more it still looks like a retro painting but this one here seems faded out and I've, you know me i don't take my books out in the sun to read a little different in the font that they use for the table of contents here's the cover to the very first book and the marvel version seems to lay over nicer because well, it's older. The binding is honestly a little bit better. This one has a little tighter binding because of all that glue down there. So, hey, I could have used this as an example of spreads. And since they have this exact same page count, I can just turn to page 53 and have the same panels. So in this particular example, it looks like the Marvel version. The colors are a little more poppy if you will like the yellow is a little more vibrant than here here it seems to be the colors are a little bit duller and same thing in these two pages right here it seems like the marvel or rather icon version seems to have the colors are a little more brighter and the contrast is a little bit better here than the colors here in the newer version and honestly for this type of story i kind of prefer the dull colors a little more you can barely tell the difference honestly no difference really here other than the way that the books are laying down because of the binding of the original compared to the newer printing and then i did want to compare some of the extras in the back so this is touch of evil it looks like they're using a different font for the newer printing and again this one doesn't want to lay down honestly these two look identical could have come from the same printing and i always like this robert mitchum picture right here so I think that's Robert Mitchum, or at least that's who it looks like to me. Uh, but that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in any of these books, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and the build of these new printings of Criminal, the deluxe editions in hardcover format. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read it, if you're upgrading from the original Criminal that you had when it was printed at Icon, or Marvel rather, or if you're going to keep those, maybe do your own custom dust jackets, or if you're OCD and you have to have Criminal in this format. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. And if you have any more questions about these or the reading order, please let me know in the comments down below. We can be found on Spreadshop where you can get stickers much like this one here and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. More importantly, everyone stay healthy, stay safe, and much love.